Hi everyone, if you want to learn FrameCE or you are still learning FrameCE, then I advise you to go to the learner's mode here, click this button and select the learner's mode. Now what this learner's mode mean is that you will be given a step-by-step -step instruction in modeling your structure. So to start a project, go to the files menu and then select the start new project. Now what you can see here are the eight templates for you to choose. This doesn't have to be the exact frame that you are modeling, but this is a starting point of your model. Now I will choose this one here and then declare the dimensions as indicated by the template. Now, next is to declare the section libraries. By default, you have only one section library, so you have to add one more. And then you have the option of choosing the user defined or standard still section. And then, uh, for example, I will choose W shape. And then what you can see at the right corner, top right corner, is the instruction on what to do. So it says here, choose one or more section from the list and click OK. So I will do that. Okay, I will select uh, three and then click OK button. So what you have now is four section libraries. Okay, I will add one more using the user defined. I will choose the rectangular section and declare the dimension say for example 700 by 400 and then click add button so i have now five section properties i can also change the description of this library say for example i will choose i will uh, declare this concrete uh, beam 400 by 700 and then click OK and next is you have to declare the load cases by default you have two load cases the did load and the live load you can add more by clicking this add load cases button and type the load case title for example i will say um did load 2 and then declare if it's a primary or a combination a primary load case is the load by itself whereas a combination load case is obviously a combination of more than one load primary load cases so for this i will uh, declare this as a primary load case and include the self weight in this load case by checking this uh, checkbox here and then add so what you can see here is now the third load case is shown here as what I have declared I will add one more and declare it as a combination load case say for example did load I will say one point to did load plus 1.5 live load so because this is a combination load case I must declare the load factors as 1.4 to for did load and 1.5 for live load and because did load 2 is not part of the combination so I don't have to declare anything and just leave this blank then I will click add now I have four load cases what you can see here is also that the load cases under the combination load case and the primary load case that is part of the combination and the corresponding load factor for each primary load case and then except so this is now my initial frame so because this is for beginners I will give you other types of helps which you can um, 
avail using this help button if you click this quick hint menu this um, selection items will appear and you choose which one you like to do for example I want to add an element so I will create an, a new element here click a new element from the endpoint of an existing element okay if I click this what you can observe is the mouse cursor moves to a button now actually I did not move the cursor it was the program who moved the cursor to the button you need to click say so I will do it again I'll say I will go to quick hints menu and I want to say I mean de uh, declare a load case if I click this declare load cases the mouse cursor will go to the button you need to press and that is done by the program itself giving you the hint where to um, press okay so another help you can use is the user guide there is a user guide actually so if you like to read um, this user guide so you can follow the instructions here and learn from the user guide okay and then I'll show you what uh, what does learner mode does okay for example we are currently in learners mode see so I will oh, see we are in learners mode if I want to create an element um, say create an element by clicking to existing nodes okay I, if I will click this and there is an instruction that appears at the top right corner of the monitor that gives you a guide on what to do what it says here is left mouse click the nodes connecting the new elements then right mouse click to finish so I will do that I will click uh, the nodes of the elements that uh, I need to create and, th and this and then I will right mouse click and then finish and then click exit to finish okay click exit now I have now a new model okay so if you want to show the three dimensional uh, section frame members just click this button on and off on and off I will zoom this in like this so I think these are all for today I mean for this video and try to do it by yourself